Hey, Giannis, before you guys got to Orlando, you were saying that you were like waiting for competition. You needed it. Today, you guys got to play five on five for the first time. How much energy was in the gym when coach said, all right, we're about to get up and down? A lot of energy. I feel like a lot of players was excited for today. Um, obviously, as you say, we haven't played five on five in a long time. Um, you know, we were a little bit all over the place, but I think everybody was happy. You know, we running up and down, everybody was going full speed. So it's just good to like have everybody, you know, back together, you know, um, and just playing and having fun. You know, I think basketball brings joy to, joy to players. So it was good. It was a good day today. Lori Nickel, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Hey, Giannis, I just wondered a little bit, have you thought about what you might wear on the back of your jersey? I can't remember if you had mentioned that before. Chris and Kyle Korver told us. Have you thought about it? You know, um, yeah, I've thought about it. Uh, what I'm going to wear be, uh, on the back of my jersey is going to be quality. Um, you know, that's what we decide the majority of the team. So that's what me and the Nats are going to wear in the back of our jersey. Eric, name the athletic. Hey, Giannis. Um, I know you guys as a team aren't a team that tends to practice a lot, go really hard, do a lot of five on five. So what is this kind of like? As I know some teams came in and it was three days straight of five on five the whole time. And you guys kind of worked your way into it. And now third day you're going five on five. How is this going to kind of be strange for a team that maybe doesn't practice as hard as other teams to kind of try to ramp things up? I feel like... At the end of the day, you got to be really careful. Like, we, we just traveled. Uh, we hadn't played in a long time. So you got to ease in back to it. So I think uh, just, you know, having a shooting day and the next day we had, like, an individual day. Everybody had, like, 45 minutes on the court working on their, like, you know, their game. And uh, this third day we were able to play 5 on five, 5. You know, Coach Bad always used a term, like, fake hustle. You know, like, we're not just going to be out there just going 100 miles per hour. Um, and just, you know, putting a lot of pressure in our body. We, we got to be able to work smart, you know, work efficient. And, uh, you know, Coach Bad is all about that. It's all about, you know, resting your body. Uh, but whenever we come here and play 505, you got to be ready. You got to be ready to give 100%. So, you know, I know a lot of teams have been playing 505 from the first day. But I think uh, I kind of like the way we, we're doing it. Eric Woodyard, ESPN. Hey, what's up, Giannis? How you doing, man? How you doing? They talked about you the other day, and you said your apartment in Greece was smaller than what y'all living in. So kind of talk about the living conditions and getting your, uh, you know, routine and that setting. And has this motivated you? I mean, you're always motivated, but just, you know, all this to play basketball, how much has that motivated you as well? Uh, yeah, the thing that I, you know, talked about like three days ago, I was joking around with it, but was it was the truth, you know. Um, now I'm in a situation that I'm extremely blessed. Uh, I cannot, not, cannot complain. Obviously, you know, it doesn't matter where you are in life. Uh, there's always something to complain. There's always a problem, an issue. But, um, you know, I try to, like, kind of not focus on that. So, you know, as I said, my apartment in Greece when I was younger with my four, my four brothers was way smaller than the, the suite that I have here in the hotel. So, you know, I'm just kind of trying to enjoy the moment. This is something special. Hopefully, uh, you know, this pandemic never happens again. So we never are able to, you know, come back in uh, campus. But at the end of the day, you know, this is like, it's a part of history. So just being able to, you know, be here, participate in this. I'm just trying to be in the moment, try to enjoy every moment, try to enjoy basketball. I'm happy that we're back playing basketball, something that I, I love doing. Uh, so there's there's nothing really to complain about. Stephanie Sutton, WISN TV. Giannis, could you expand a little more why you wanted to wear equality on the back of your jersey and your thoughts too on your teammates, Kyle and Chris, wanting to wear Black Lives Matter and why that's so important to you? Uh, I really don't know why they chose Black Lives Matter. Um, you know, it's something that I feel like they wanted to represent, but I've never, I haven't talked deep, get in a conversation with them. Uh, but uh, I will not, I want to keep for myself why I'm wearing, me and the Nash wearing the back of our jersey quality. Joe Varden, The Athletic. Hey, Anna, sorry about that. Um, 
I asked Chris and, and Mike the same thing, but you're, you're probably used to getting tested now physically uh, for, for COVID. At any point, and maybe you still have this, maybe you don't, do you ever get worried waiting for the results? Like, oh my God, what if the next test comes back positive? No, no. If it comes positive, you know, hell, you know, it is what it is. That's life. But uh, I think I'm, I'm doing the right thing. I'm very careful. I'm washing my hands. I'm wearing my mask. Where's my mask? My mask is my, in my bag. But, uh, you know, I think like we in a place that we're really extremely safe. Uh, and I really, you know, this is the third day, fourth day. I really don't, you know, worry or sit down and uh, be nervous about, you know, the result. I just go get tested and uh, just wait to see, you know, what's going to happen. Steve McGargy, Associated Press. I believe before you left here, you had said that you kind of compared this to maybe like a FIBA tournament, the traveling you did for that and staying at a hotel for a while. Now that you've been here a handful of days, does it still feel that way? And what are the similarities and differences just in the kind of experience so far? It definitely feels that way. Uh, you kind of don't know what to expect. Um, you know, every day is like a schedule, like a time that you got to go uh, and use the court. Like you cannot just walk in the court anytime you want. So in FIBA, it's kind of the same. We all stay in the same hotel. You're uh, able to like, you know, see the players, you know, walk around or, you know, have dinner, uh, see the other team coaches. So it's kind of weird. It, it's kind of weird. You got, you want to try to be, you know, as much as possible respectful to like, you know, your, uh, the people that you go play against, you know, the coach staff of the other team. Um, but at the end of the day, like we all come here for the goal, which is to win a championship. It is, you know, I'm kind of old school. You know, I like to, you know, stay for myself. So it's kind of, you know, hard like in FIBA because like you stay, you're in a hotel with eight, ten different teams, and uh, it's you know you see the guys that you're about to go play, you know, go battle against. So um, that's a similarity right there, but. Um, it's fun, as, as I said, it's fun. I feel like we we have a lot of things to do. We can, you can go use the pool, there's arcade room, there's a player's lounge. Uh, I would prefer to be at home in my, sleep in my bed and uh, being in Milwaukee and all that. But uh, at the end of the day, it is what it is. We're here now and uh, just gotta do our job. Ben Steele, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Hey, Giannis, and, uh, and playing five-on-five five today, how do you evaluate your own personal game today? I sucked. <laughs> I was terrible. <laughs> so, uh, no, I was terrible. But, uh, no, you know, day by day, try to get in shape, uh, try to find my rhythm. It's obviously being in shape and being in basketball shape is two different things. So, you know, I always take it day by day, try to get better each day. So, I know that I'm going to be ready when the, um, the scrimmage start and um, the game start. I'm going to be ready. David with La Gazzetta. Hi, Yanis. Um, what, what do you think about what you guys did in the first part of the season? Do you see that as a starting point, as a point you want to get back to, or something you want to just build up from? Uh, obviously, we want to build from that, but this, it was five months ago. You know. Um, as a team, hopefully, you know, everybody did the, the right thing and we're ready to go and uh, we're better, we're better team. But obviously, like, you know, we're going to be rusty as a team, obviously, because we haven't played basketball for a long time and wasn't able to, you know, get back to the practice facility uh, for a while also. So we just got to, we just got to, you know, have the same mentality as long as the team have the same mentality that is which go, in the, go out there and uh, go try to win games. We're going to be fine. Um, you know, obviously, in the beginning of the season, we played great basketball. We were 53 and 12. We want to, you know, pick it up from where we left. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think, like, we're going to try to use the scrimmages on uh, the eight games just to get back to, you know, playing good basketball so we can be uh, ready for the playoffs. Zora, go ahead. So it's known that you like to kind of stay to yourself, stay in your room. You talked about all the different activities they have there. What have you done so far outside of basketball? Pretty much nothing. I just stay in my room, you know, get treatment, 
um, walk around a little bit with, uh, you know, my little brother and um, the Nassis. But obviously we were, we were quarantined for like 36 hours. So we don't, we didn't have a lot of time for ourselves and we practiced like, we practiced three times so far. So you know, as we move forward, probably just go visit maybe the uh, play, players lounge, hopefully, you know, not a lot of players are there, but um, I'll try to figure out some things I'm going to do. I'll be watching a lot of movies. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, last two questions. Let's go to Eric Name. Giannis, I, I know you love a schedule, and I know that you love that you have the practice facility that you can get into 24-7. What is this kind of like? I know you've practiced at now at three different times in the last three days. It was 10 a.m. one day, one the other day, three the other day. I know you don't have the same access as normal. How are you trying to get through this when you can't, you can't really get a set schedule because it's different every day because of all the teams that are there and all the practices that they have to set up? Yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of weird. Uh, obviously. Um, you, you don't know what time you're going to practice. Like you said, one time we practiced at 10 a.m. The other day we practiced. Today we came on the court that uh, we had the court from 9 to 12. Tomorrow might be one day we had it at 6 p.m. Tomorrow might be at 4. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's hard, obviously, being back home. You know, you have a routine. You know what time you sleep, what time you wake up, what time the court is going to be there, uh, what time your vitamin. And uh, you're able to lift weights, you know, shoot some shots. Like you know everything exactly. So I'm a routine guy. So just being out of routine, uh, it kind of mess, uh, mess with my head a little bit. But I know as uh, we move forward, we're gonna have a routine. And um, in FIBA, in FIBA, we don't have no routine either. Uh, there's no, there's no schedule. One day you can be at 10 a.m. The other day you can be at 12, at noon. Um, so, but we gotta be ready for, you know, everything. Uh, as I said. We're here now. Uh, this is, um, you know, this is the card we were, uh, the Delta. So we just gotta, you know, play with them. Last question to Lori Nickel. Giannis, how far are you going to try to take this? You know, your focus and the mental part of your game. You don't like distractions. You don't like to be bothered on game day. Seeing your competitors, would you wear? Headphones or keep your head down or even text your teammates, hey, is the coast clear? I mean, I understand what you're saying, but how far are you going to go with this? You know, you know, so like me not liking to, uh, you know, being around players because I feel like, you know, uncomfortable. But at the end of the day, you know, you got, we got to play like they, like you got to go out there and play. I'm not going to try to not be myself. I never wear headphones. I don't listen to music before games or uh, before practice uh, because it brings a lot of emotion to basketball. I feel like basketball should play should be played with no emotion. So I'm just going to try to be myself. I, you know, I had a national team coach when I was 17. He told me that, you know, whenever you are around in a place with a lot of uh, players, you just got to, you know, be yourself, uh, keep keep it to yourself, look them straight in their eyes and just, you know, give them a nub, say hello, but, uh, you know, be you. I'm not going to try to change who I am. Uh, but obviously, like, if we can be here for three months, uh, my goal is to, you know, be a ba better basketball player, be a better uh, uh, person living in this place, uh, try to read some uh, more books. Uh, I just want to better myself. I feel like this is an opportunity for everybody that's here to like better themselves. Like there's not a lot of things you can do. You're in the camp, you're in your room. Uh, so personally, I'm just going to try to better myself, be a better basketball player, and hopefully we can stay here for three months. And uh, when I leave here, I'm just better in general. Great. Thank you, Giannis. Appreciate your time. Thank you guys. For this.